Hey everybody, it's the Cracker Full of Laughter, and I'm here with a pretty big Timo haul, so you might want to get your drinks. So, like I said, I've been ordering from Timo since October. I just never posted this stuff because it was like a lot of Christmas stocking stuffers and stuff. But I will show you guys what I've been buying recently from Timu. Now, some of the stuff I've given to the people I bought it for already. Some of the stuff I haven't. Some of the stuff I bought to do stuff with. Some of the stuff I just bought because I wanted it. Some of it I bought because it was cheap. So, there's going to be two parts to this Timu haul. The first part is going to be all of the stuff that I bought besides die cuts. And the second part will be only die cuts with examples cut out. So, let's go. First thing I bought, and I don't have prices for everything because I bought this is like over a couple hauls. But this was... $6.98 and this is an air dry clay kit it comes with these little tools I have no idea how to use air dry clay it seems like it might need some water added to it or something but I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos if anybody in here you know has dealt with air dry clay before and wants to give me some tips you know I would appreciate it get a lot of colors one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so 33 colors plus the tools uh, this there's actually 12 in this one and 12 in that one uh -oh, there's i'm sorry there's 36 colors and some tools i thought i could make maybe some hello kitty or karopi or karomi even Maybe I could use some of my little flat backs to kind of try and copy off of. Maybe I could just make some candy, like some suckers or something. I don't know. But, yeah, just something to do when I'm bored. So, this first set of stuff that I got. Well, this is actually, these are stickers, and these are word stickers. And these were, I don't know, but they were cheap. They were like two bucks probably. And you get one, two, eight sheets of this. And they're all different. They're like the Tim Holtz ones, but they're colored. So you get all these different colors. And they all say, like, cool stuff. I'll read, like, one or two off of each page. Live, create, tell the story. Throw kindness around like confetti. And there's those colors. Then you got some greens. It says, forever is composed of nows. Um, remember to play. Hold on tight to your dreams. And then you got this color. And this color says, you can do anything. Be someone today. Be fearless. These ones, happy Easter. Um, singing in the rain. Hopping down the bunny trail. And here goes some. Okay, these ones might be the same. Okay, these two pages are the same. So, there's two of the same. So, maybe there is two of each. Yeah, okay. So, these ones are the same. So, you get two pages of each. Which is nice because then you have two of them. But they're different colors. So, these two are the same. And then you got, these two are the same. So there's some other colors, purples and pinks and greens. And then these two are the same. Yeah, these two are the same. So that's cool that you get two of each page, just different colors. I really like these. And I'm going to put these in my stash with, like, all my Tim Holtz words. And I think I have, like, every book of words that Tim Holtz put out. Even the snarky ones, the big snarky ones. I got this little bag of bags. 
for my small business. You get a ton of them in here, and these were 78 cents. They just have flowers on them. Just little bags, little charms, or whatever. So I got some of those. And then I got these bags, and these were 58 cents for five. And it said something about coconut on them. I don't know what is going on in this picture here. There is... Here. There's a deer and a coconut tree. Some reindeers. It's like in a forest, though. So there's coconut trees in this forest. This place is pretty magical. They are cute. You know, give somebody something in if they're leaving your house and they need a quick bag or something or to send swaps in, maybe. I was thinking they might be good for Christmas in July. It's kind of like a funny little throw on Christmas in July. Yeah, so I bought two packs of these. Just because I like bags. And then these are like the best thing since sliced bread. So these were cheap, cheap. These were like 78 cents, I think. And you get five different colors. You get red, blue, pink, purple. I mean, red, pink, green, purple, and yellow. And this is how these work. Let me pull one out. And you get like 10 of each. So there's a little mountain here. So what you do is you open this up from here. I'm sure everybody knows right now what I'm about to do. You open it up on this side. And then you grab these strings. And you put your fingers here. And you slide it up. And you have a cute little bow. And you also have a way to tie it on something right here with these two strings. So, I mean, the bow is not perfect, but it's cute. You could add, you know, a little, add a little something to it to make it even cuter. But, yeah, that's what you get, a little bow. I think it's adorable. I feel like this, like it doesn't close far enough, though. Oh, there I go. I didn't pull it hard enough. I was scared. Okay, now it's a little bit more filled up. There you go. So, yeah, these are cute. Especially for that price. Thank you. I will take these. Okay, so the next little pile of things we're going to move on to. We'll just move on to the small pile here. This is going to be a couple. Um, here's a stamp. It's a music note stamp. I can put something behind it. And then I also got this dog stamp. And it says, Life is rough. Hug a friend. Um, you had me at wolf. Who needs big hugs and kisses? Forever loyal, faithful friend. And there's like a bulldog and different dogs. Cute little dogs. This one kind of reminds me of my grand dog. Okay. And then I got um, this little, it's to make earrings. Or you could just make little charms with it. And it's a resin thing. There's paw prints, diamonds, butterflies, ghosts, jack-o'-lanterns. Excuse me, reindeer, turtle, hearts, Mickey's, pumpkins, circles, and these maple leaves, if that's what you want to call them. I call them something different, but you may call them maple leaves. Canadian maple leaves. So that was cute, and that was like, I think, $1.39. So I got that for, to make some resin earrings, and then I got this to make some resin keychains and dangles. So it's letters, and what you do is you do the letters of people's names, and then there's little two little holes in each letter, one at the top, one at the bottom. 
So you can put jump rings through it and you make it like a dangle. You can make her name. So they, they were cool. I think that was like two bucks. I don't think anything I ordered, the, the ear dry clay was definitely the most expensive thing. This was like $3, uh, two, $2.68. This is Alice in Wonderland 8x8 eight eight scrapbook paper or, probably, you know, whatever. You could do whatever you want with it. I was thinking of maybe like making some kind of little album with it. I also got two sets of the stamps that match it. And I also got the charms that look like the rabbit for here. So I don't have time to open all this right now in this video because it's going to be long. But if you do want to see this stuff, I can always make another video and show you what's in here. As well as I have these bee stickers and these um, ladybug stickers. And I'll show you this real quick. This is a little notepad. It has a little vellum belly band that I'm definitely going to be using for something else. And it's really pretty. Let me see if I could do it this way. That didn't work. Okay. So, it has like different pages. Here we go. Here we go. And I thought that the size of it might be great for, like, card prints. And these pages are, like, all vintage-y. They are only one-sided. But they're, like, vintage. And it smells good. I don't know if you're, like, me and, like, the smell paper. But I love the smell of old books and stuff. And this smells good. Smells like old paper. So I got that stuff. Then we'll move on to this pile. So these are supposed to be spoons for in your kitchen. I actually have two out because I did this video quite a few times. They're shovels. You get two of each and they're actual little shovels. And it's supposed, they were 89 cents for four. And it's supposed to be like a joke. You're supposed to put them in your kitchen. But I'm going to put two in my kitchen. Oops. And I'm going to put four in my craft stuff. Because I thought this might be really cute during Christmas. If I like Mod Podge a napkin on here maybe on the bottom and then put some fake snow on it and put like a little Santa Claus cabochon on it. You know, it might be like a really cute little Christmas ornament for your tree or something. So I got some plans for those. I bought this set of scrapers because I need them for my Cricut. And every time I go to look for my scrapers, I can't find them. So I bought a set of two. It's like a mauve color. They were like a dollar ten, I think. These were sixty nine cents each. These are just like little atomizer things that you could pump a little bit of cologne in or perfume. I bought these for my son because he's been buying a lot of different um, colognes lately and like some expensive ones. And I don't want him leaving them in his truck and then getting stolen or missing or lost. So. That way he could just pump some in here, put it in his pocket, and if he loses it, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I also bought this kitchen set. It's a cake decorating set. It comes with like almost 50 of these different tips. And then it gives you the little screw-on tip, and it also gives you a bag. And this is reusable, that bag. You can clean it out. I bought this for... Deco Den. I already have a bunch of these bags that are throwaway ones, disposable ones. So I may just use a couple of these for Deco Den and then actually put the rest of them in my kitchen and maybe decorate like some sugar cookies with them. But it was a big set and it was 89 cents for all that. <clears throat> okay, I gave two of these pens to my mom. They were 58 cents. You got six gel pens. 
and um, I was going to try to see if I could diamond dot these or rhinestone them, but it seems like I can't. So now I got some black pens. Also, I bought these scissors for 58 cents. Well, what happened was I got invited to a dollar sale on there. Everything was like less than a dollar. So these were 58 cents. I bought two pairs of them. I've been using one pair to cut up paper. Are they the best scissors? No. Are they the worst scissors? No. They cut, you know, but my son's always coming here stealing my scissors. So he can have this pair. I'm going to give him this pair and he can keep these. I don't even have to bring them back. And then I bought two of these hangers, not for clothes, but you know how we've been buying all that ribbon from like, you know, Michaels and stuff, and it has all them like one yard pieces. <coughs> well, I thought I could hang all of mine because I have a ton of it. I thought I could hang it all like in rainbow, like red, orange, yellow, blue, green, violet. So I bought two of them because I think I'm going to need two of them. Um, and I was also trying to think of a way to make this so I could hang my regular ribbon rolls on it. So I don't know. I'm going to have to try and figure it out. But yeah, I bought two of these and these were 78 cents. And then I bought... A pair of Cookie Monster socks. I don't like long socks, but I love Cookie Monster. So I bought these and I'm going to give them to my son because he loves socks like this. I bought these rubber thumbs. They're adhesive. You stick them like on places like the end of your desk and you can put your cords through there. So they're kind of like cord organizers. I also got these two hanger things and my thoughts were I could hang both of them together on the wall like this and they come out a little bit so maybe I could hang like put like a paper pad or I don't know these aren't going to stick very good but I don't know what I could put on them I just bought them because they were cute look at the diamond at the top and they're all glittery and it was a set of two for, um, I don't even know, honestly. Uh, oh, wait, 87, no, 37 cents. They were 37 cents at the everything under a dollar sale. So I just grabbed a pair and I also grabbed some hooks. These ones you could put like a, a rod through and I, I bought six of those I believe I can't remember but these were 212 a set I think I bought two sets and then I got these ones and these were 248 and you got 30 of them and they are self-adhesive on the back you can peel the sticker off and then you stick it and it's like a little hook and I have this really big board I got that came with my TV. It's a really thick chipboard. And I thought of making like a pegboard type of thing with it. But not a pegboard, like hang those hooks on there. So, we'll see how that goes. So, also, while we're talking about organizing, I bought these wheels. So, these wheels are good for like on the bottom of your Cricut. You can put these wheels, there's four in a set, and there's a double-sided sticky tape they give you that goes on there. So you stick it on there, and then you stick it under something, like your Cricut, and then you can roll your Cricut back and forth, and not have to worry about your paper hitting the wall, and you know, because a lot of people keep their Cricut you know back against the wall but whenever you're cutting something you know you can't keep it back there because your paper will hit off the wall and start messing up your cuts okay 
the next thing I bought is going to be this wax healing stuff. So I ended up, I have a huge Hobby Lobby haul. Like I'm huge, okay? Um, I ended up seeing some of the wax seal stuff out there on sale. So I grabbed some and for probably for like less than $20 or maybe $30, I got everything I need and I got a nice little wax seal collection going. So I bought these, their paws, little like doggy paws and I bought them in pink. I bought them in green, and I bought them in purple. I also got this rose stamper, this quilted heart, and this like tree, a learning tree or whatever it is. And then I saw this set, and I really wanted the paw print and the bow, and it also comes with the, uh, rose and the heart but it has a snowflake a paw print and a bow as well and it was like three something so i ordered this so i do have two roses and two quilted hearts so i'll either do a giveaway with them or you know put them in a d stash or something and I'll show you the rest of my wax stuff when I get to my Hobby Lobby haul. Okay, I bought these couple items for Easter. So these are gonna be my Easter earrings. So the bunny's butt is bit off and he said, my butt hurts. And the other one said, what? Because his ear is missing so he can't hear. So they're kind of like, you know, funny earrings. So I'm gonna wear those on Easter. And then my mom likes to collect miniature things. So I've been collecting all kind of little miniature stuff for her. So I got these little miniature baskets and I had already given her one because they were super cute. And I, and I bought her a little shopping cart from Hobby Lobby. But I'm going to put some tiny little pieces of candy in here like jelly beans and stuff like wee little stuff and some Easter grass, and I'm gonna give it to her and tell her it's her Easter basket. That's gonna be a little mini Easter basket. Just to mess with her and make her laugh. And then finally, I, for this will be the rest of the first part of the haul, I bought these butterfly appliques. And they're really pretty, but I wish there would have been more pink and blue colors in there like it showed. There's like a lot of peach and yellow and white. So they are really cute. They're just little thin appliques. And butterflies are nice in the spring. That's when the butterflies start coming out at the end of spring or whatever. Okay, and then I bought, these were 37 cents a pack. I didn't even know what I was getting, what I was buying. I just wanted, I figured I'll try it out. So they're just little flat backs and you get a mixture. You get seven pieces for 37 cents. So they're not anything great, but that is Lotto, the dog, that pink one. And that looks like the TikTok symbol to me. And then in this one, there's um, a super cute turtle that I really love, and a donut, a rainbow. And this one, the croissant is really cute. And then in this one, I actually got the Watto dog again. There's, there's actually a couple doubles, so. You know, I'm just going to throw these in my charms, my next charms, like the scoops or whatever, if I do scoops again. Um, okay, then I got, we'll stick with the charms. I got these birds, and I think a lot of us got these birds on AliExpress. I remember, I think I got pink ones, well now I got the blue ones. 
And they're just really cute little bird charms. They have a gold background. Really cute. You get like 10. And they were cheap. Uh, probably a dollar something. These were $1.59. And they are the maple leaves. So you get like 10 of these. And you know, I like maple leaves. The color of these is like really pretty too. It's not, it's not green, but see how it's like a, a really like pale blue almost. That's how it is in person too. It's, it's a weird like green color. It's green, but it wants to be blue, you know? Okay, then I got these little tiny spoons. And there was actually more than this, but I gave some to my mom because she loved them because they were miniature. So, let me try to grab one. Let's see that little spoon right there. I know it's hard to show. Okay, there we go. That little tiny spoon. So, I think you get like 20 of them and they were 68 cents. And then I got these Bulldogs. There we go. So here's what the Bulldogs look like. I'm trying to get it to focus. Look at this one on the bottom. And they're cute. They're small. They're like... Look, they're smaller than my nail. Like, I could definitely fit that on my fingernail. But, they're really cute. They'll make a cute little dangle. It's really hard for me to show these charms at this angle. But maybe if I just put them in my hand. So, these ones are my favorite. They're Tootsie Pops. And it says Pop on them. It actually says pop right on them. So, I got two packs of those. Because I I actually went to go buy them. And then they were like sold out really fast. So, when I seen that they had them again, I hurried up and bought two packs. Because I thought they were super cute. And then I also have these bunnies from Alice in Wonderland it looks like yeah this angle is really bad Here. it's a little bunny from Alice in Wonderland so I bought some of those I figure I'm going to do an Alice in Wonderland project. I might as well get those. And then I got these little tiny flowers. And this is actually two sets. These were 98 cents. So this is $2 worth in here. And they have little tiny gems in the middle of every single one of them. And they're so pretty. So I put these all in one pack. This is two packs. So I put them all together because I was getting ready to use them for a project. And then I got these pastel beads. And you get a lot of these beads. There's, there's a couple different sizes. These were only eight, And they're like acrylic. Plastic acrylic, whatever. But they're really cute for right now, Easter. I thought I could make some really cute little like beaded um, or wire beads, you know, to put into my swap. Because I'm doing a swap right now through a Facebook group. But it's really a TikTok group. It's kind of hard to explain. But yeah. So then I found these on there. And I've seen Laura V. Crafty make these. And I don't know if she actually made her own. Or if she got them from here. But they are the two ups. So you get five heads and five leaves in here. 
And this is what you do. You put them on, well, this is upside down, but you put them on a, through a wire, you know, like that, but the, you turn this upside down. That's obviously upside down. I think the whole thing is. But anyways, they turn out to be little tulips, and you get five heads and five leaves in here. So there's enough to make five tulips. So I bought one, two, three, four packs of them. They were like... I'm pretty sure they were under a dollar if you bought this combination. Or you could buy like 10 leaves or 10 heads. But I figured this was the best way to go. So now I have 20 of them that I can make. So I may, you know, wire some of those and make those for my swap as well. Um, I'll show you what I made my swap partner so far. It's only supposed to be one spring item, one handmade spring item. But... Uh, me and my partner both agreed that we're going to do more than one, you know, I can't just do a swap and send one thing. So I made her this pen. It's all spring Eastery pastel colors. And I have to still put the tip in it on and stuff, you know, but yeah, I made her this really pretty pen. She said she's into stationery and stamps and stuff, so... I made her a pen, and I'm going to make her, like, a couple other things. Oh, and I also got these from Timu. I forgot about these. These are just little advertisement stickers. Crabs. Um, $12. Seafood. Oops, I'm dropping them. They're just a whole bunch of little advertisement stickers. And they have different prices on them. So, a bunch of little store stickers that, you know, that used to be up in stores. So, these are cute. Um, here goes. Cakes. They, oh, they, oh, this one's cute. And here goes a chocolate cake. So, they were really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But they were 48 cents, apparently. So, yeah. Um, like I said, most of this stuff came from that under $1 sale. But some of it didn't. Some of it I just got recently. And some of it is from a, another haul. A small haul. But I have... A part two, and it's going to be the die cuts that I bought from there. There's a lot of die cuts that I bought, and I'm going to show, you know, examples of everything. So, keep an eye out for part two. And also, I have a few other videos coming. Um, a Walmart haul, a huge Hobby Lobby haul, an Easter haul. And I'm even going to make um, my son's little brother's Easter basket on... I'm going to make a video of me making that because it's something really cute and I want everybody to see it. So keep your eye out for some of those videos and also keep your eye out for a flash sale on Instagram because it will be soon. I'm expecting charms any day now, so keep your eyes peeled. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment center. If you want to see me open anything in better detail. You know, let me know in the comments. Or if you know anything about this air dry clay, please let me know. Thanks, everybody. Bye.